Melissa Sue Anderson captured the hearts of audiences across America when she brought the character of Mary Ingalls to life on Little House on the Prairie. But after leaving the show in 1981, at the peak of its popularity, she seemed to simply vanish from the spotlight. Join Factsverse as we explore the real reason you likely haven't seen this talented star on screen in many years. Her early life and career beginnings Melissa Sue Anderson was born September 26, 1962 in Berkeley, California, as the second daughter of James and Marion Anderson. When Melissa was seven, her family relocated to L.A. As a child, she appeared in commercials for big brands like Mattel and Sears. Her cute girl-next-door looks attracted the attention of talent agents and casting directors. In 1972, at age 10, Anderson got her first TV role on an episode of Bewitched. She played a young girl named Tabitha on her first day of school. A year later, she landed a memorable role as a girl who kisses Bobby on the Brady Bunch. She was steadily getting noticed more by casting agents and landing small parts on popular shows. When she was 11, her career took a major turn when she was cast as Mary Ingalls on the new TV show Little House on the Prairie. It was a dream role she won over 500 girls. While her older sister stayed behind in L.A., Anderson relocated with her mother to Simi Valley, where the show filmed its outdoor scenes. For seven seasons spanning 1974 to 81, Anderson grew up on the Little House set. She thrived in the role of Mary, the prototypical good girl and dutiful older sister to Laura. As the show progressed, her character faced heavy storylines like blindness and the death of a baby. Her emotional performances earned her an Emmy nomination when she was only 17. Little House launched Melissa Sue Anderson's career and set her on a path to become a major young adult star. Becoming a Star When the show ended in 1982, Melissa was at the height of her fame, but still eager to shed her good girl image. After playing the sweet and pious Mary for so many years, Anderson was determined to avoid typecasting. In 1981, she starred in the cult classic slasher film Happy Birthday to Me. She played Virginia Wainwright, a popular high school senior who gets caught up in a murder spree targeting the top 10 clique. The film allowed Anderson to showcase a darker, more manipulative side and a stark departure from her Little House character. That same year, she also starred in the TV movie Midnight Offerings as Vivian Sutherland, a spiteful teenager who dabbles in witchcraft to destroy her rival. Anderson relished the chance to break free of her wholesome image, even if it meant playing villainous characters. She further distanced herself from Mary Ingalls by taking on more womanly roles in various TV movies throughout the 80s. Titles like Survival of Dana, Advice to the Lovelorn, and First Affair positioned her as a young adult navigating mature subject matters. Anderson also made frequent guest appearances on popular shows like Fantasy Island, The Love Boat, Hotel, and Murder, She Wrote. In the 1986 TV movie Dark Mansions, Anderson landed one of her meatiest roles as a wealthy heiress caught up in a dark dark family mystery. She held her own against screen legends Joan Fontaine and Michael York. But her ties to Little House were never completely severed. She returned to the Prairie for three final guest appearances before the show ended in 1984. Retreating from the Spotlight by the late 1980s, Melissa Sue Anderson's acting career was going strong. She had become a familiar face on TV movies and popular shows. But surprisingly, she decided to step back from Hollywood at the peak of her fame. In 1990, at age 28, she married TV producer Michael Sloan. She retreated from the spotlight to focus on starting a family away from the glare of Hollywood. Anderson has said she saw the toll that fame took on child stars, especially her Little House co-star, Alison Arngrim. She wanted a more normal, grounded life for her own children. In a 2007 interview, Anderson stated that the children ought to be the main figures in their own lives. She expressed her belief that she had made the correct decision, noting that they had matured into independent people who were confident in themselves. After marrying Sloan, Anderson completely retired from acting for almost a decade. She settled into domestic life as a wife and mother. The family moved to Montreal to fully leave her Hollywood past behind. There, she could live anonymously while raising her two children, daughter Piper and son Griffin. Becoming a Canadian citizen in 2007 was the final step in her retreat from fame. She admitted she was rarely recognized in public anymore, allowing her to focus on family. Though mostly retired, Anderson did occasionally act in minor roles that fit conveniently around her family life. In the late 80s, she appeared in a few episodes of The Equalizer produced by her husband. 
She also filmed a small part in the 2014 Veronica Mars movie, which marked her first significant on-screen role in over 15 years. But now, acting was just a side gig rather than a full-time career. Occasionally, she makes public appearances at Little House fan conventions to reminisce about the show. Die-hard fans enjoy hearing her share behind-the-scenes anecdotes and seeing the former child star as an adult. Outside of these sporadic projects, Anderson continues to live a normal life in Montreal focused on her family. Preserving her legacy Even decades after leaving her most famous role behind, Melissa Sue Anderson still appreciates the legacy of Little House on the Prairie. She remains connected to Mary Ingalls and participates in projects that allow her to revisit that chapter of her life. In 2010, she published an autobiography called The Way I See It. The candid memoir shares her cherished memories of working on Little House from ages 11 to 19. The book provides a unique window into her childhood as a young actress on the set. Anderson offers warm remembrances of life on the prairie and working alongside co-stars like Michael Landon and Melissa Gilbert. She also frankly discusses the challenges she faced growing up in the spotlight. Writing the book was a cathartic experience for Anderson. Looking back on Little House also reconnected her to loyal fans who felt they knew her through watching Mary Ingalls for so many years. Staying involved with the show's passionate fan base inspired Anderson to occasionally participate in those cast reunions and conventions. She enjoys reuniting with former castmates like Alison Arngrim, Charlotte Stewart, and Wendy and Brenda Turnbaugh. Attending these events allows her to reminisce about filming and answer fans' burning questions. She also values opportunities to publicly honor her TV dad, Michael Landon, who passed away in 1991. She speaks glowingly of his creative influence and guidance during her formative years on set. She often reflects on how Mary's journey resonated with young viewers facing their own hardships. Her thoughtful perspective demonstrates how seriously she took the role and its impact. While acting is now just a hobby, Anderson still feels a responsibility to preserve the legacy of Little House. Her own daughter Piper even appeared in a high-profile tribute documentary about Michael Landon. When she published her memoir, she stepped back into the media spotlight for a time, but she has since retreated again, limited to occasional posts on Twitter and rare convention appearances. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you grow up watching Little House on the Prairie? What are your favorite memories of Melissa Sue Anderson as Mary Ingalls? Let us know in the comments section below.